Welcome back to Cloud9 Plays, Alan Wake's American Nightmare, the arcade mode. Brought to you by Rocket Rabbit Commentaries. We are now in the caves, easily one of the most difficult levels of all the arcade levels. Why? Because there's shadows everywhere! Not to mention that there are endless obstructions, making it difficult to actually see who's around corners. You're constantly gonna get jumped by enemies who just come around the corners in this level. Which is why this level is probably going to give me a lot of difficult when I actually get to the arcade version of the level. God help me when I actually have to do that. Anyway, um, you, you just gotta worry, you really need to worry about where the enemies are at any given moment and just to keep moving. Get your bearings straight, see where the safe areas are, any safe areas being just wherever the enemies aren't. I just probably should just minimize the distance between myself and this guy so that he can just enter his attack like that instead of waiting for him to actually just run up to me to get in position to do it. He actually almost hit me because apparently I hit the dodge command just at the exact instant that the attack animation started, making it so that his fucking attack would expire basically as soon as the dodge moment expires. And it still makes me crap my pants because it's never pleasant to get hit in this game. Getting hit in this game just sucks. You don't want to get hit in this game. This guy's just going to attack me repeatedly, as has been happening for the first couple parts. In fact, I should probably have should prepare to say during moments like this, you know, I got to do this probably six more times after this. Okay, I'm going to kill you now, because I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get the time seven as soon as you're dead, and I didn't, but I do have time six. I'm going to pick up this. I'm not going to pick up that. I'm actually going to wait to pick that up, because that's the SMG, and the SMG is a small weapon that will replace the handgun if I picked it up right now. That is the nail gun, but fuck the nail gun. There are four small guys who spawn wherever they may be. Hopefully I find them soon enough so that they don't hit me. Tee hee 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 hee. Rhyming all the time, freely. Where's the last small guy? I know you're around here somewhere, mister. Oh, there was only three this time. Well, oh, come on, man. Why were there only, f why were there four in the oil fields? But the caves level, there's only three. It's like, leave me in this fucking moment of suspense. Fuck yourself. I'm gonna stun you. There's a combat shotgun in here. I wanna get the combat shotgun. I really do. This combat shotgun is really powerful. I don't wanna pick up any secondary ammo because it's just gonna treat it as pump action shotgun ammo, even though I'm pretty sure they're all shared. Maybe they're not. I have no idea. I don't really even really care at this point. Hey, there's a pump action shotgun, which is right next to it. Huzzah. Fucking pick it up, Alan, for Christ's sake. Stun you and stun you. Small guy's further away, but he's gonna take some time to actually get near me. And my multiplier is about to go down too far. He still has a shield up, which kind of sucks because, well, there's another small guy, and small guys are not very convenient for helping me get my multiplier back up. So you have to die, and I just have to take whatever points the game feels like giving me at this point. I need to focus on getting a higher multiplier. I'm gonna linger in this area because as soon as I run out of ammo for the pump action shotgun, I'm just gonna switch to the combat shotgun. Instead of consuming the free ammo packs that the level gives you, you wanna save those as much as you can. And probably just take out these guys' shields if somebody approaches me from behind. Um, okay, I got a multiplier going right now. I'm gonna use this guy to help get my multiplier up just a little bit because it's a mid-size. Mid-size is actually very easy to detect when they do the animation, so it's easier to get the multiplier up. There he goes again. He's up to time seven, but there's the goddamn grenadier! No! You sons of bitches. Okay, do I have to, do I have to spam this bullshit? I think I do. Uh, there's nobody coming behind me right now. I'm just gonna break your shields and get at least one of you guys to start attacking me so I can start getting my multiplier back up. Thank you very much. I is all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna meander my way. Okay, so this guy is gonna make it just that okay, maybe it is easier to get a multiplier going when you have a pair of these guys because there's less time between when they actually attack you because if all that guy's finishing, that guy's just waiting the other guy's just waiting in position to attack me, except now this guy might end up attack entering his attacking animation before I even get in position to do the dodge correctly. Like that that moment right there, which I fucking hate when that happens, because there's no consistent way to tell. You need to just go away. Go away. Stop bothering me. Okay. Both of those guys entered the attack at the same time. I actually managed to get a second dodge somehow because I guess his axe didn't completely fall yet. Those guys just respawned. They don't have their shields back. Huzzah. I'm going to use them to get my multiplier back up. They both tried to attack me at the same time, so maybe no, because he already fully completed his attack before I had a chance to dodge it. 
This, he just threw his candy cane at me. Candy cane failed. The sickle also failed to hit me. There goes the other guy. This guy, I'm going to draw him away so he can actually attack me. Not run to the other guy by accident because as soon as you enter the... Basically, as soon as you enter the range, whenever these guys feel like it, they will just start trying to attack you. And that's the dodge opportunity. I almost have five minutes remaining, but as you guys saw, you could get a lot of fucking points just basically by doing bullshit like this to the very last second, which is why arcade mode is, just kind of sucks a little bit. Because you get, you get most, you, you basically get most of your points at the very end of the game. If you have a times nine multiplier at daybreak and the wave just started, you probably just maxed out your high score. Okay, now, those guys just got me a buttload of points. So unfortunately, the multiplier is going to be long gone by the time it will even matter. When the enemies actually do spawn, I'm going to go back towards the cave, pick up a few items in the area, this flashbang. I do not know where all the items are, unfortunately. I don't really care, because most items are pretty, basically irrelevant in this game. I need to find the Grenadier as soon as humanly possible. I am pro I am positive that's probably the strategy, because if the fucking Grenadier ruins the multiplier, I might as well just fucking stop playing, because it's, there's no fucking point. You don't get any points. This game is about getting a lot of points, so if you don't, if you lose your opportunities to actually get points, then you, tough shit. It's probably somebody behind me. There is nobody behind me. Huzzah! Which means I can just concentrate on the small guys. Fuck you, small guys. There's one of you. One of you's dead. I'm sure the Grenadier's around here somewhere. Where the fuck is he? I know that son of a bitch is around here somewhere. I will swear egregiously at the at the fucking... Whatever it's called. The, the Grenadier. I hate, fucking hate the Grenadiers. I also hate these guys because that fucking charge that they do is undodgeable for some... Whatever reason. I guess they want to just make it... that much. These guys... They wanted you to remember those guys. It's like, okay, those guys do that. Those guys do the very annoying thing that I can't stop no matter what, except getting around it. You will get hit by it sometimes, because those guys also will turn as they're moving, making it that much more awkward to actually hit them. I'm gonna throw down the flare pretty soon, so that because I'm pretty sure enemies are gonna spawn right here, which is why I'm gonna keep my distance away from the center over here. I'm just gonna throw down a flare, not let the splitter fucking... Hopefully the splitter doesn't split. Splitter just split. Okay. It's time to split, every time to split, split, every time to split. Stun all of you guys, stun all of you guys, get all those fucking kills, can't see a goddamn thing, I wish this player would. Go stop blinding my shit, gonna reload, gonna hit the split a motherfucker. Stun all of you motherfuckers, bang bang. Nobody behind me, I'm almost out of ammo. Gonna take out all of these mofos Singing a Benetonic There's some ammo gonna reload Where's the motherfucking Grenadier? Wasn't coming down, wasn't coming down Gonna coming down, there goes my multiplier Still pretty high for the section of the game Gonna switch to the handgun, yeah man Yeah man gonna shoot more motherfuckers yeah, I'm gonna stop doing that before I get so old. I'm sorry. I just, I, if you guys haven't noticed, I break into song basically whenever I feel like it. I, I don't know. I'm a very musical person. I'll just break into song because I would rather there be music than there not be music at pretty much any given moment of my life. There's a lot of guys behind me. I use that explosive barrel for a great effect because I actually got a kill from that. Uh, and another small guy, apparently all these guys are right behind me, all, all are in front of me, so I don't even have to worry about the back. I basically just gotta get the rest of the kills, but it requires me to drain their shields first. Alright, I'm gonna stun you before you have a chance to do your nastiness. There is still nobody behind me, even though there really should be, because there's fucking nothing to do until these fucking guys just get rid of the... Just get over yourself, man! Just get over it! Your shields can't do shit! Why do you keep raising your shields against me? Your death is a foregone conclusion. You're dead. You also are about to die. There goes your health. I'm gonna get this ammo box because now it's the end of the round and the fucking grenadier is nowhere to be seen. I wonder where that motherfucker may be. Hopefully I actually have some ammo by that point. Have oh Christ, I only have flashbangs left. Okay. Um, I really hope I at least get to keep the multiplier until the end of the wave. That would be really cool. Oh god damn it! They're sending everything! Everything! <laughs> oh my god! Not good, not good, not good! Okay. Yeah, I know. Flashbangs. All flashbangs. All of you need to die. Some of you need to die. I really hope most of you just died. No, and most of you did not just die. Where is the Grenadier? <laughs> okay. Alright, time to dodge. Time to dodge. That's all I'm gonna do now is just... 
Fucking dodge. Especially the goddamn... I actually did not even see that motherfucker enter his attack animation. Nobody enters the, the fucking whatever. I really need to kill this bird. Or maybe I shouldn't kill the bird. I don't even know what to do at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the bird. That's probably the only thing I can kill right now. That mid-sized guy is gonna help me get my multiplier back up just before daybreak. I actually did get the timing right. Here comes the small guy. Small guy... I swear to God, like, the, the, the window of opportunity is just so small. Small guys are fucking overpowered in this game mode. Okay, I'm gonna enter the street light. Now! So that these guys will all just respawn and they have to wait for a second, just in time for the Grenadier to not hit me, and there we go. Victory. The sweetest elixir known to man. I wish I had subtitles on so I could actually hear what the narrator's saying. I'm sorry if I just interrupted him. That was the caves! The caves is... Easily the most difficult of any of the levels because tight corners, hard to see environments, and tons of and tons of obstructions. In addition to just a really confusing map layout because there aren't that many discernible landmarks except fucking slopes and caves and shit. This has been part four of Cloud9 Plays. Alan Wake's American Nightmare, the arcade mode, brought to you by Rocket Rabbit Commentaries. In the next part, we will do the last of the First stage, arcade levels, the basically the easy mode, going to take place in the trailer park. And maybe more musical interludes, followed by tons of skulls and people exploding from light, luminous obliteration. I will see you guys next time.